Okay, Oshkosh 2019, very complicated. Going to Chicago, uh, staying there for the night, then going to Sheboygan, dropping Zoe off for a camp for a week. Then we're gonna go to Mackinac Island. That's gonna be fun. Then fly back to Chicago, drop Karen off. She gotta get the airlines back to here. And then I'm going to Oshkosh. Stay tuned, a lot of flights coming up. Got a prop? Uh, series number one to two, Sierra Zulu. Good afternoon. Look at the pickup IFR two going at airport Lima Zulu uniform. Number one two two, Sierra Zulu. Ground clear to Lima Zulu uniform airport via radar vectors. Maintain two thousand. Expect one two thousand in ten. Departure one two five point two. Squawk two three two five. Book tower, series number one to two, Sierra Zulu ready. Number two, Sierra Zulu, turn left heading 360, runway five, clear for takeoff. Left heading 360, runway five, clear for takeoff. One to two, Sierra Zulu. Flies clear. All right, there's been alive, full power. Looking for 77 knots. Temperature pressure looking good. Service to Sierra Zulu. Contact Palm Beach Departure. So long. Over departure. So long. Palm Beach Departure. Good afternoon. Service number one to Sierra Zulu. 360 heading uh, through 800. Sierra one one two Sierra Zulu. Palm Beach Departure. Contact Palm maintain 7000. Coming maintain 7,000 to Alright, autopilot is on. November 112 Sierra Zulu, fly heading 290 vectors to go through moderate to heavy precipitation. This will keep you clear of what I'm depicting. 290 and uh, 7,000 to uh, So she's vectoring us to the west, so we can just, uh, but there's a lot of precipitation. Uh, southern Florida here, just uh, south of uh, Orlando. Sierra Zulu, can you take a heading at 300? Uh, pro negative, uh, doesn't look good. Uh, to Sierra Zulu. So yeah, uh, 300 heading is taking us straight into that cell right here. That's not gonna work. So I'm trying, just trying to pass through those two cells here. All right, time to hook up the oxygen. Today is uh, July 20th, 2019. It's the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission. And uh, actually they're commemorating it today by having, uh, I think the president and other VIPs are at, at, uh, at the Kennedy Space Center. Cape Canaveral where the mission took place from. And I can see the TFRs right here. But the way I was fascinated as a kid, it's just the whole thing, the whole experience was just fascinating to me. That actually what drove me into aviation part of it. 50 years later, we don't have the capability anymore, but back then, over a million people got involved in billions and billions of dollars. Uh, about 4.5% or more of the uh, national budget was uh, dedicated to the mission and NASA's budget. So with all that money, that's how we were able to, to do that. All right, we're cruising at 15,000 feet, just to be at top of all those uh, build-ups here, so we don't have to deviate left and right too much. Pretty smooth flight. So far, not too bad. Another hour, 18 minutes to Gwinnett. And then another three hours to Chicago after that. Good afternoon, making out some of the 3005, it's in the main thing, 6,000. 3005 and 6,000, Good afternoon, Sierra Zulu is 14 miles south of the field, 2,000 per hundred inbound, full stop, Oscar. November 2, Sierra Zulu, you're currently number 2, following Piper Archer, 1 east, left base to final for the touch and go ahead. Um, traffic ahead, again, touch and go, you're clear to land, number 2. 
I got the Piper inside, uh, turning final, uh, number two, runway two, five, clear to land to Shazard. I'll uh, get the airport right there. We see the traffic landing. Ready to go, ready to land. Yes, we're ready. Zoe, so you ready? Yep. Cabin crew's ready. Speaking like a veteran. All right, final is clear. Let's say it's clear. Gwinnett for lunch. It's, uh, it's a good midpoint when going to Chicago, but I would love to go somewhere else instead of just coming here all the time. You know, somebody should put together like a restaurant guide for uh, for airports. An airport restaurant guide. That's what we need. Come on, guys. Just start. Start on the project. No problem. Ground series November 122 Sierra Zulu looking to pick up uh, IFR2 Papa Whiskey Kilo. 122 Sierra Zulu runway, well, correction, you clear to the uh, Chicago Executive Airport Papa Whiskey Kilo as filed. Maintain 3,000, expect 1 6,000 five minutes after departure. Departure frequency 126.9 or 7, squawk 1774. November 122 Sierra Zulu to running 320, runway 25, clip takeoff. Yeah. Uh, phone is clear. Yeah, just, uh, the other side uh, is clear. 320. Engine page, we're out of here. Nice is alive. Pressure looking good. 77 and rotate. Laps up. The two CEOs do the contact Atlanta departure. I said what? Or departure, good day, Tessa Zulu. Atlanta uh, departure, good afternoon, Sierra Zulu, number 1 to Tessa Zulu, just departed uh, Gwinnett through 1800 for 3000, 320 heading. Number 1 to Tessa Zulu, Atlanta departure, Ident, and Kwama maintains 6000. Ident and 6000, Tessa Zulu. Number 1 to Tessa Zulu, Atlanta departure, Kwama maintains 1 1000. 1 1000, Tessa Zulu. What number do I put in that, guys? Not yet, I'll tell you. Number one, two, two, zero, zero, seventeen, one, six thousand. One, six thousand, zero, zero. All right, here's our final altitude, sixteen thousand. All right, put your oxygen on now, sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. We just passed all the thunderstorms here. In the Chattanooga area, just north of Chattanooga, Tennessee. It's all nice and clear up ahead. Let's check out the weather up in Chicago. So let's see what's going on up there. Oh boy, looks like executive is going to be pummeled in a little bit. Those things are kind of moving, let's see, about 8 knots, 12 knots. is about a 10 mile radius here, about 8 miles northwest, north northwest of Milwaukee. So within a half hour to about an hour, they're going to be out of there. Uh, so that's gonna pass through. Then, there's more. Ooh, wow. Uh, that's quite nasty. Uh, Chicago looks pretty bad right now. Uh, all, that's, all those storms have uh, really gone around uh, the uh, Chicago executive area. It's pretty bad. So I, And it keeps building to the west of that. So I hope that uh, this doesn't affect us. We have another hour, two minutes to go. Hopefully that's gonna Gonna, that's not gonna delay us too much, but we do have options south of there. Uh, Gary is a good option. Two is ready to copy. 
clear for Walker. Let's go direct to Joliet VOR. Juliet Oscar Tango. Then DuPage, Delta Papa Alpha, then direct for Walkie. Right, Juliet, uh, DuPage, then uh, Powaki to schedule. So now, typically, I don't accept that and I cancel IFR, but in this case, uh, I'm going to do it because that's actually how we got to enter Powaki. We're going to go from the west because the weather is moving to the east. If we go to the lakefront up front, then we're going to be in the thunderstorms. But if we go from the backside, uh, then we're going to go to the back of it and we should be okay. So also I have a way to measure the distance here. Uh, it's a pretty neat feature I, that I like. So the distance from the edge of the storm right now to Powalki is about 10.8 miles. Plus the 15 minutes of lag time that we have here, so it's probably more like 9.5 miles right now, I'm thinking. Should be okay, should be clear by the time we get there. It's so uncomfortable, I can't sleep. What, the oxygen? We'll be descending soon, honey. I want to take it off. Not yet, you can't, you're not allowed to. Unless I can descend. Let me, let me ask the descent. Uh, Chicago Center, uh, to schedule the request. Go ahead. Is it possible to descend out to like 14,000? Here, number two is here, Azul, descend and maintain, 14,000. Alright, so just give me uh, one minute and you can uh, remove it. The storms in Chicago are right there ahead. These clouds right here, that's the broken layer that is starting at right around 5,000 feet. And you can see it extending all the way west and to the east. And on the weather map here, Jack, on the Garmin, you actually see that line of the broken layer that is right there. You kind of see it, how it's depicted over here. What's wrong? Nothing, I don't, I don't feel good. That's yours. Zero. 72. That's your lack of oxygen. That's hypoxia. Put your oxygen back on. I thought I was okay to take it off. You told me... Well, you, you don't have to have it on legally, but you should. Put it on your nose and hold it. Sky approach, Sears, November 1 to 2, Sears, Zulu, uh, level 4000, uh, direct to Juliet. Sears 1 2 2, Sierra Zulu, approach altimeter 2 9 9 2. Expect RNAV runway 16 at executive. Echo is current. I right, have uh, Echo and we'll be expecting the RNAV uh, 16 at uh, executive to schedule. Yeah, the weather passed actually. It is it's gone. It's all over the lake. It's all over the lake. So if we're going up front the lake, we would be hitting all the there. weather. You see it? It's right there. Wait, we're coming from there. Yeah. The weather has passed to the east. Zulu, radar service terminated, you can stay on that squawk and frequency change approved. All right, over to tower with this uh, squawk. Two uh, Zulu, good day. Sirius 2, Sierra Zulu, uh, you can turn your base. I'm going to turn you inside a Cessna that's on a four mile final. So just uh, go ahead and start your base in runway 16, clear to land. You'll be number one now. All right, uh, turning base, uh, runway 16, and clear to land. One to two Zulu. Flying.
Thank you.